Hey guys, it's Kayla back with another video and today in this video I'm going to be doing a bunch of like channel news and COVID news and stuff and I hope you enjoy. It's not really Minecrafty at all, but um, it's some news on why I haven't been uploading and stuff. So for those of you that clicked on this video because it had the word COVID in it, this is for you guys. Um, I recently did a calculation of the percentage of COVID deaths in the entire world. This isn't US, this isn't whatever state you live in, this is the entire world. And this is the number. The number is about 0 0.0000, well that is it coming, 0, 08. That is the approximation amount percentage of COVID deaths in the world. So that is the population divided by COVID deaths and stuff, basically that. It's a bit more complicated than that, but um, that is a percent, that's really low. And that's why we're moving on to my next topic. Should kids be able to go trick-or-treating this year? Yes, kids should be able to go trick-or-treating this year. One, most of the costumes have masks included in the costume, like a Darth Vader mask or a zombie mask, whatever you're being for Halloween. It most likely is included with a mask or something covering your face. Secondly, candy doesn't um, submit or Candy doesn't disperse COVID, so um, I don't know what the big deal is. And usually, besides your family group, you're staying six feet away from everyone else. Um, it with um, You're staying six feet away from everyone else unless you're getting candy from them, which a lot of Halloween trick-or-treating is walking around, so you're not really in within any feet of anyone. Um, and also... Kids are the least likely to get coronavirus. So if you're a grandma, maybe you can stay home if you have a weak immune system, stay home or or go out. It doesn't really matter because of the death rate I just told you guys. But if you're really worried about it, stay home. Um, but the kids, let them go out and do their trick-or-treating because um, they are less likely to get it than the adults. And the adults were included in that test I did. Next is all the channel news. If you clicked on this video for the COVID news, you can sign off now and this is the channel news. So, uh, the reason I haven't been filming much is because I actually have been filming. I've filmed like five videos that each took around five, two hours, like averaged out. One of them took five hours, two of them took two hours, and two of them took like 20 minutes each. So it's around two hours each for the average. Um, and I uploaded one of them and I took it down because the audio was bad. The one of one of them, the audio was bad, and three of them, the idea was not great. Um, so I'm constantly thinking of things to do um, for videos. I just don't have enough time um, on my hands because I have distance learning, which is not school at all. Um, so we're one, we're distance learning, and two. Um, in the time that I do have to film videos, I think of ideas, I film them, but I don't get a chance to upload them. I also have made a bunch of video ideas. Um, I've made a bunch of Among Us video ideas, but I haven't got around to filming those. I just did those today, and since we have school, obviously I'm not gonna be playing Minecraft during school. Also, I've been coming up with an idea for a new series. I know I've done so many series on this channel and I've canceled all of them, but a new series idea that might be coming, may not be coming, I don't know. Thank you for watching this video. If you stay to the end, you'll probably like more videos like this, um, or of me, I guess. I do live stream sometimes, Among Us, Minecraft. Um, I did Crunker twice, but I'm probably not going to be doing that again. So please subscribe. It's free. Um, it doesn't cost you anything. That's the definition of free. Um, I have a sketch coming out on Halloween, so stay tuned for that.